We will see how to assemble this model that is Tesla coil wireless transmission DIY kit that is do it yourself wireless transmission this is the product this is the material you will get into the product product comes with very beautifully designed instruction manual where you can actually see the visual representation of the breadboard how circuit diagram will work this is a circuit diagram this is a breadboard diagram and these are the stepwise instruction if you follow the stepwise instruction this model will work very beautifully now in this tesla coil model this concept is based on the very uh, innovative idea of sir nicholas tesla which wanted to transmit electricity without wires because if you look at the transmission of electricity 27 to 40 percent of electricity is wasted due to the wire uh, transmission and that is why this idea was uh, there in his mind now let us see how to assemble the project the every information about the project uh, to make the project report is provided in the manual you can go through it and you can prepare your project report as well so in this project you are getting this foam board this is a white color foam board with foam pieces and 9 volt battery it comes with 9 volt battery okay so foam board foam pieces and 9 volt battery now in another pouch this is the actual working uh, uh, material of the product in another pouch if you look at the pouch this is your very famous tesla coil which we call as a secondary coil okay then this is the these are the components transistors leds resistors apart from this this is a connecting wire this is a switch press to on switch we call it as apart from this switch channels now if you cut this pouch you will see this is a breadboard it's a small breadboard very customized breadboard which is made for this project as we don't need a big size breadboard this is your primary coil this is your testing circuit we call it as receiver circuit as well and this is a battery snapper okay now first of all we will open this tesla coil This is your secondary coil, Tesla coil. There are a number of turns which is, uh, you know, coil is made on a cylindrical object. This turns and the thickness of wire is very specific. And you know, this is the, it's very critical for getting the desired result. So this is ready-made coil, which we are providing in the product. Now, first of all, make a base, okay? There are four foam pieces with two-way tape at the back side of the pieces. Press these four foam pieces into the four corner of the board and your base is ready to present it's like this okay second way uh, second is pasting this board bread board now press this bread board on the this foam board and pasting it here okay I'm pasting it here. You can paste anywhere. Now, next step is to number this board. Okay, it's very important because our connection. Now, you have to understand working of board. These are, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are the 5 pins in one row. But these all are 1. So, if you do connection here, here or here, all will be same. Okay, 1, 2, 3, so I am just giving number for my reference this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 like that now what we will do we will make start making connection so connection number first is placing switch into uh, pin number 14 15 and 16 okay if you look at this uh, there are three connecting strips so pin number 14 15 and 16 if you are not able to see the numbers we can again recount it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, this is how I will put it. Okay. 
so it's a 16 15 14 so this is the first connection now second connection is second connection i am supposed to put this battery snapper into pin number 9 and pin number 15 so now again we can count again every time we can count but on this from the same side 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 this one is 9 put black wire into 9 insert it and this one is 10 11 12 13 14 15 so it's here 15 I think our pin will come here, our switch will come here. 14, 15, 16. Yes. Now, next connection. Next connection we are going to do. We are going to take one of the resistor from the sheet and we will connect this resistor. Now, resistors, these are the uh, both directional components. So, you any, any end you can connect anywhere. So, place this resistor into pin number 8 and 14. Again do the counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8. So I am putting it here. 8. I will just fold it. What I said. I am supposed to connect it into pin number 8 and pin number 14. Okay. So 8. Then it's. Then if you look like, then see here 8, then it's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and here it is 14. So what I will do, I will insert it here in the 14. Okay, so it's done. It seems it's like this. Now next insert LEDs into from print number 9 and 8. Now if you look at the LED, if you look at this LED, this LED, uh, you are not supposed to use this big LED. Take out the LED from this. This long leg of LED is positive and short leg is negative. So you are supposed to add this long leg of LED into pin number 9. Okay. Again do counting from the same direction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 so it's here so long leg of LED should go here and short leg will go into pin number 8 and 9 so it's like this okay that so it's like again I am just re verifying it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8. Perfect. So now next step is to put the transistor. It's very important step of the product. Uh, so take out this transistor from the strip. Here transistors are provided. Take out this transistor. Okay. There one, one transistor is required for this circuit. We have provided two. Just an extra transistor in case if you need it now just look at the transistor this is the flat side of transistor and this is a bulk side so while inserting the transistor uh, the flat side should be towards the coil it should be towards the coil so i am going to insert it like this and where i am going to insert the transistor i am going to insert transistor into pin number 7 8 and 9 constantly so again i am just counting it See, uh, now what I, as I told you earlier, these all pins are two or one. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, this is six, so next one is seven. So, I am just inserting this transistor into next three pins, seven, eight and nine. Okay, so sequentially, just press it, done. Okay, so almost circuit is complete. Now, what you are supposed to do? You are supposed to paste, uh, place this secondary coil onto the board. There is a foam, uh, there is a two-way tape. Remove it and paste it like this. Okay. Bring it near to the circuit so that insertion 
the coil will be very simple and you are supposed to add this coil into pin number 8 okay i can count it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so here this is it so i am just trying to add it into the pin number 8 what i can do there is one led into it i'm just shifting this led into next hole okay so and i'm adding this secondary coil into it as done now next one is adding primary coil so this one is your primary coil and you are supposed to add primary coil into pin number 7 and 14 so first put the primary coil to the secondary coil One end will go in seven. One end will go in fourteen. Again, count it and then put. So how? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So here is the seven. I'm just adding it into into the seven. And then what I said? It's a seven and fourteen. so again you can recount from here so 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 in pin number 14 there is resistor as well in the same resistor clock i am adding this so circuit is almost ready Let's try the circuit using nine volt battery. Put the battery. Put the battery and press the switch. If your circuit is correct, all connections are firm, then the LED will glow, and your transistor should not heat up. If your if there is any problem in the circuit, transistor will heat up.